now i giving you another case scenario as i said in the earlier this is again a clinical beginner which you pediatricians or pediatric practitioners should know when to surgically send it to the surgeon this is a child who is about 10 years of age had been having headache and vomiting for the last one month so this had been going headache and mainly it is an early morning headache this is a very ominous sign you must keep in mind this child had been having headache and vomiting went to lot of doctors even in the government sector in the private sector somebody is giving pentosid somebody is giving domstal and this is what happened and the child landed up at the baba saheb ambedkar hospital now as i said it was a very typical history that this child had got early morning headache early morning headache means there is something it is usually because of the raised icit it is a picture of a raised icit and especially when there is a stretching of the dura that is what early morning headache you should understand now if you have an early morning headache in this child try to always keep in mind there is something going on because of the raised tension right now this happened and moreover initially it was merely the headache was in the frontal region and then it was extending on to the whole of the scalp or the, the skull mainly in the occipital area along with this headache this child had used to have the four to five episode of vomiting and especially in this child the vomiting if you ask the the vomiting used to be projectile in nature so it is very important now what negative history you would like to take the negative history was there was no history of fever at all so this is a child who has been having pain headache and vomiting but no fever very important so there is no history of any fever no history of any seizures no history of any alteration in sensorium no history of any loss of movement of any of the limbs that means there was no neurological deficit as per the history now what happened what other history you will ask like to ask any history of visual disturbances there is no history of any visual disturbance there is no history of any what else you will ask to ask ear discharge very important we try to ask a history of ear discharge because if the child has been having headache and vomiting the first thing any pediatrician thinks about the meningitis unsafe csom so you have to ask the history of a ear discharge so there was no such history of an ear discharge as well now what happened in the last one month child as i said was had gone to various doctors now when the child came to us this child was a febri was conscious and this child had a normal vitals were well maintained there was nothing like though the history is revealing history of headache and vomiting but there was nothing like a cushing stride there was no bradycardia there was no hypertension i think the heart rate was about 90 per minute respiratory rate was about 20 and blood pressure of this child was 110 by 70 right and very importantly this child had a terminal neck stiffness that i'll show you first two signs in this child one is the history is that there is a history of a raised intracranial tension so what i have i have in my earlier video also that whenever you have a signs of raised intracranial tension what sign you elicit <coughs> mckeven sign can you elicit the mckeven sign here in this child okay come 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 apne apne sir microphone bhi rakh lo aaja bete aaja shabash good girl अब इस बच्चे का आप मुझे मैं कीवन साइन करके दिखाइए इधर आइए बहुत लंबे हो दिखेगा नहीं हाँ चलो करो सर वी विल टैप एट फ्रंट ऊपर एट टेम्पोरल जंक्शन अच्छा यस बोलो बोलो करो फिर क्या करोगे वी विल टैप सर हाँ और सुनाई करोगे सुनोगे सर अच्छा क्रैकपॉट साइन ठीक है इसमें ठीक है बोलो इसमें मैंने एक ही चीज़ मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूँ वेन एवर यू हैव ए चाइल्ड दिस चाइल्ड लकी इज दी इज हैविंग ए नॉर्मल सेंसोरियम सो इट इज़ वेरी इजी टू डू बिकॉज हियर यू ट्राई टू डू दी टैपिंग एंड इफ आई विल आई विल से दिस चाइल्ड हैज गॉट ए क्रैक वॉट साइन बट येस मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली हाई हाउ टू एलिसेट एलिसेट इज दैट यू नेवर वेन एवर द चाइल्ड इज लाइंग डाउन मनीष 
डोंट पुट द हैंड ऑन द हेड पुट द हैंड ऑन द नेक एंड देन यू ट्राई टू टैप इट वाई बिकॉज इफ यू इफ देर इज ए पॉट इज क्रैक्ड एंड इफ यू हैव पुट द हैंड हेयर देन वॉट एवर इट विल बी टोटली सप्रेस्ड सो यू हैव दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस चाइल्ड सो वन वॉज दिस दिस चाइल्ड हैड ए क्रैक पॉट साइन और ए मैकी वन साइन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन दिस चाइल्ड वॉज दिस चाइल्ड हैज गॉट ए टर्मिनल नेक स्टिफनेस बेटे इसको लगाओ यहाँ पे ऐसे लगाओ सी दर्द होता है ये लगा लो सी ही इज हैविंग दी प्रॉब्लम इन दी सो दिस चाइल्ड हैज गॉट टर्मिनल नेक स्टिफनेस टर्मिनल नेक स्टिफनेस इज ऑल्सो ए वेरी ऑमिनस साइन वॉट इज इट डी नोट टर्मिनल नेक स्टिफनेस इज यूजली सीन इन दी पेशेंट्स विद दी पोस्टीरियर फोसाट लीजेंस so one is the terminal neck stiffness with the meningitis but this is a child who never had any fever child has been having headache and vomiting for one month and now when I, the child came to us this child had two important signs one is a mckeevan sign and other thing is a terminal neck stiffness terminal neck stiffness is very important for the raised icit especially in the posterior fossa tumors posterior fossa tumors usually raised icit is seen more commonly in the posterior fossa tumors only so that is what is the you have to keep in mind okay okay aiye baith ke okay then after this uh, you may take it as a rest of the examination was done history wise also there was no involvement of any cranial nerves examination also did not tell us any Cranial involvement, motor system, sensory system of this child is all right. Now the problems are mainly two. So keeping in this mind, very importantly, headache, vomiting, and terminal neck stiffness. This is a child who has got raised ICT. And raised ICT, will you like to go for the LP in this child? I ask, uh, who is there? Vaishnavi has not answered anything. A Vaishnavi speak. अरे उधर दो ना यार उधर रखा हुआ तूने हाँ सर एल पी इज कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेटेड इन दीचर्स ऑफ रेज टाइप हाँ जी एल पी इज कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेटेड यू आर ए पीडिया गो फॉर दी एल पी बट इन दिस केस इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट सिंस दिस चाइल्ड हैज बीन हैविंग प्रॉब्लम फॉर द लास्ट अबाउट वन मंथ यू शुड नॉट गो फॉर दी एल पी फाइन एल पी वाई If you are suspecting, because history-wise it is raised intracranial tension. Now, in raised tension, you have features of McKeevan sign is there. Everything is there. यार ये कौन सी आवाज़ कर रहे हैं? So this child, you never should never go for the lumbar puncture. Lumbar puncture will rather cause coning of the. So it is important that you should not do the lumbar puncture. Rightly so. In this child, lumbar puncture was not done. So what was done? That <coughs> we got straight away. We got the MRI of this child done, and I will show you the MRI. See this. The child is about ten years. Look at the look at the MRI. Now in the MRI you find this is the coronal section. See see this is the mass here. See this. See this is the mass in the close to the fourth ventricle. This is the posterior fossa mass. Now, this mass, I will just show you the. So this is the posterior fossa mass. I will give you the sagittal view. See this sagittal view. You have to see whether this mass is extending up. Or going down. Cover this. See, this is the mass. Mass is there. It is going up. So it is touching the pons, and it is going down into the medulla oblongata. So this mass is there in the posterior fossa, going into the medulla also, and going up also. So this is a heterogeneous mass, which is present in the fourth ventricle. You must remember, right? I'll just read out the. A report of the MRI. 
लॉबिलेटेड लीजन इज सीन इन द फोर्थ वेंटिकल मेजरिंग 28 इंटू थर्टी फोर इंटू थर्टी सेवन मिलीमीटर्स सीम्स टू बी अराइजिंग फ्रॉम द वर्मिस दैट मीन्स ए पोस्टियर फोसा सेरिबलम में है वर्मिस से अराइज कर रहा है इंटीरियरली इट इज कॉजिंग मास इफेक्ट ऑन द पॉस एट द मेडुला इंफीरियरली दिस इज माइल्ड हर्नीशन ऑफ द ट्यूमर इट इज नॉट एग्जैक्टली माइल्ड हर्नीशन बट येस एज पर द रिपोर्ट इज माइल्ड हर्नीशन सो वॉट आर दिस से दैट द now this mass what are they saying if you have a child who has got this kind of a mass in an in a 10 years old child archana what could be the possibilities rakho na apne paas batao posterior fossa tumors like it could be uh, meningioma ependymoma haan ji meningioma meningioma doesn't come here ependymoma no. can be yeah very correct at 10 years of age first thing you should keep in mind is the ependymoma second thing will be the medulloblastoma so this most likely has got either a medulloblastoma or a ependymoma right one more thing i wanted to impress upon at times for the sake of the knowledge supposing the ct scan is not available and this child comes to us importantly which i have also come across is that you go for the transorbital ultrasound and you look for the optic nerve sheath diameter sometimes what is happening is you people are not in the habit of seeing the fundus i am always impressed again and again i tell you you are a pediatrician you are a clinician you must keep the ophthalmoscope with you which you don't keep and you must see this child had i was very surprised this child had gone to another hospital and here it was already written that the child has got papilledema and i don't know nobody paid attention to it papilledema in a child posterior fossa tumor very tension right even if you don't have the facility of a ct scan go for a transorbital optic nerve sheath diameter very easy you can go the ultrasound can be put on the orbit and transorbital you can do the you can measure the orbital sheath diameter if 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 the orbital it may come much earlier than the papilledema so orbit the optic so not or optic nerve sheath diameter so optic nerve sheath diameter if it is enlarged then you try to keep in mind that there is a child with the raised tension okay so this is what happened to this child now what is we what we are going to do is this child is to be sent to the neurosurgical department and this child needs to be operated upon the ominous signs in this child are two early morning headache may give one sign and this early morning headache is very important in this child so you have to keep those things in mind luckily this child has not had because it is close to the fourth ventricle there is no evidence of hydrocephalus but before that develops this child needs to be operated upon any questions so these are the videos i wanted to say in order to prime you that these are the important indications where you need to send it to the surgical and i am telling you papilledema i am again emphasizing you must all keep the ophthalmoscope with you and try to do the and get into the habit of seeing the fundus okay vishwa you have fund ophthalmoscope with you uh, it is in the locker or you are not bored so you kindly buy the lock the, now and come back with the ophthalmoscope tere paas hai puneet aaj kya kar diye tum sr bane hue leke aao खरीदो हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच ओके जी थैंक यू